Two ways you can make your videos look and feel more professional is by adding B-roll and music. B-roll is simply supplementary video clips that you can add to your videos in editing to demonstrate or show whatever it is you are talking about in a video, kind of like what you are seeing right now as I'm talking. When you combine these two, you actually will help the viewer experience and keep them more engaged as they watch your video. And when you add music, it gives your video edit a vibe and feel that your viewers can experience. And that's why in this video, I'll be showing you how to edit B-roll and music so that your videos can stand out. Let's go. You gotta just press the board. Hey, what's up? It's Omar El Takori with Think Media, and this video is sponsored by Camtasia. Camtasia is a program that makes editing video an easier process so that you can create more content. And that's the goal, creating more videos to grow on YouTube. But I'll be using Camtasia in this video. However, whichever software you're currently using to edit videos, the principles that I'll be teaching in this video can be applied to it today. Now, what's so cool about B-roll is you don't actually have to be the person that shoots your B-roll. Like that's totally an option, but you can actually grab B-roll and music online, which is a nice, cool thing. Today, I'll be grabbing B-roll from TechSmith assets for Camtasia. There's a lot of online libraries with B-roll that you can choose, but this one is from the makers of Camtasia and it has over 900,000 video clips and audio tracks and graphics to use in your videos. It's super well-priced and it works great with Camtasia. You simply find the asset you wanna import to your project, click the Camtasia logo, and then you'll find it inside of Camtasia. Super cool. Tip number one is to create a folder for B-roll and import your footage. With TechSmith assets for Camtasia, like I mentioned, you can just import it directly into the Camtasia media bin with one click, but having a bin or folder for your assets helps you stay organized when you edit. This makes it easy to reference in the future, and most softwares do have the ability to add a bin or create a folder, and I would just encourage you to do that right off the bat. Tip number two is to add selected clips to your timeline. I always like previewing the B-roll clip before I add it to the timeline. And so you could simply double click on a B-roll clip and actually preview it and make sure it's the right clip you wanna add on and then simply drag it into your timeline. I found that adding B-roll chronologically makes me edit a little bit faster because if you just start throwing clips randomly into your timeline, then you might be spending a lot of time shuffling them around. And sometimes I'll even have a notepad that has the B-roll clips listed out chronologically as well. Tip number three is to now edit your B-roll once it's in the timeline. And if you filmed your video, maybe in slow motion or in a high frame rate, this is when you can slow it down or maybe it's time to trim up your B-roll a little bit. You don't need the full length of a clip. So only using what you need. And this is the time you would do that as well. Another edit you could be making to your B-roll is adding transitions in between them. Uh, personally, I just like hard cuts because transitions could be a little bit cheesy. And if you need a crossfade or maybe a dip to black, then by all means, add those in between your B-roll clips. Another thing you can do to your B-roll is add text to it. And we like doing this in title screens. As you've been seeing the tips come up, you've been seeing a title screen come up, which would be a B-roll clip of a motion graphic. And then you would see text come up when I mentioned the tip. And I actually love that Camtasia has motion text, so you can simply add text that already has motion to it. And all this really just makes your videos look a lot more professional, but it's very simple to do these things when you're editing. You just have to take the time to do them. Now, the next tip is to add and edit music in your video. But if you are already getting value in this video, hit the like button for me. Thank you so much. Having the right song match the vibe you're trying to put out is very important. You don't want some super gnarly disco EDM beat while you're a very mellow person or even if your B-roll doesn't allude to that kind of vibe, find the music that really communicates the emotion you're trying to portray to your viewers. Camtasia has a very nice library of music in their assets folder and tons of more royalty-free tracks on TechSmith assets for Camtasia. A lot of the times in the videos that I'm creating, I use like lo-fi hip hop because I'm kind of, that's my vibe. I feel like I'm very chill but I'm also cool, you know, I hope I am, but uh, this kind of matches my vibe and so it doesn't take people by surprise or actually make it more distracting. So just make sure you find the music that you want your viewers to fill. But one thing to make sure is that the music you do use is copyright free so that your video doesn't get taken down. Now, once you have found the music that you wanna add to your video project, just add it into your timeline underneath any audio you already have, maybe from the A-roll. And actually a rule that we like to live by here at Think Media is what we call the grandma rule. And that is when somebody is talking on camera that you don't have music overpowering 
whatever it is somebody is saying. And we like to call it the grandma rule because if my grandma was watching my video, would they be able to make out whatever it is I was saying, even though there's music going on underneath? In Camtasia, you can lower volume by clicking and dragging the green line so that you can hear whoever is talking. If there's no one talking and maybe you're just doing a B-roll sequence or it's the intro to something, and this kind of goes back to editing your clips because if you are using a B-roll sequence and you just have the music laid out, then use the waveforms to cut the clips uh, visually, which is an easy way to kind of make your B-roll go on beat. And then once you have your music all laid out and your B-roll all laid out, you can fade in and out your song by finding uh, some audio transitions and uh, usually this is a great way to bring in a song and as well as a great way to end a song or bring out a song. When music ends abruptly in videos, it kind of gives a weird feel to the viewer. And so just add a fade out at the end of your audio to make it nice and pleasing for your viewers. So that's how I edit videos to music and how you can too. You know, when it comes to editing videos, you just got to put in the practice and the reps to get better and you saw from Camtasia itself how easy it is to implement some of these things uh, specifically with this software so thanks to Camtasia for sponsoring this video and there's actually a 10% discount on Camtasia when you use the code thinkmedia10 but if you want to check out Camtasia for yourself be sure to check out the links down in the description below just practice because practice makes progress and if you would like to check out another editing tutorial from us here at Think Media then be sure to click or tap the screen and I actually cannot wait to see you in a future video. Peace.